Welcome to Gentle Yoga. Please have a strap or a block on hand. Let's begin in a seated cross-legged position. You can sit on a block or a blanket or a bolster if you're finding that your hips tilt toward the back, curving your spine. Let's make sure that we have a neutral position in our spine. Take a moment, close your eyes, and check in with your own breath. Throughout the day, we often forget to breathe or we're breathing in a very shallow, quick manner. So simply notice the quality of your breath. Begin to take some deeper breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Let's begin. Take your knees and take them hip distance apart on your mat. And you'll want your hands to be underneath your shoulders in line with your elbows. And we'll begin by taking an inhale, pressing our knees apart from each other and allowing the spine to drop. And then exhaling, pressing the arms and the hands away from each other, allowing the spine to round upwards. is known as cat cow and we want to move in line with our breath so take some cat cows on your own pace inhaling as you arch into cow and exhaling as you round upwards into cat One more round of cat cows with your own breath, and then come to a seated position on your shins. Grab your strap, and we're going to do cow face pose. So take your strap in your left hand, raise up your left arm, and drop it with your hand touching your opposite shoulder. And now, we'll make sure our strap is, is in the back there, we'll take our other arm and bend it and bring it to grab the strap. Now you may be able to clasp your hands together. If you can do that and not compromise your alignment, go ahead and do that practice. Otherwise, use the strap to help you maintain neutrality in your spine. A lot of people, they're like trying to grab their arms and they're going like this. Don't let that happen neutral spine, use the strap to assist in your alignment. As you breathe, try to draw your shoulder blades together. And see if you can move your hands closer together on the strap. Exhale, releasing. I'm going to switch arms. So take the strap in our right arm, bend it behind our head, take our other arm, bend behind our back, and grab the strap. Once again, noticing the alignment of your spine. Don't sacrifice this to get your hands closer together. In yoga, sometimes we think that because we can do a pose, that it means we should do it, but that's not always true. Sometimes it's better to hold back a little bit and respect our body's limits. And release on your next exhale. Setting aside your strap, come to your sit bones on the mat and we're gonna try some boat pose. 
I know boat pose can be intimidating, but I'll show you some modifications that make it a little more accessible if you don't already have a six pack. <laughs> so first we'll begin with our legs bent, our heels on the floor. Place your hands on your shins, bring your shoulders together down the back, and then simply practice lifting up a foot and maybe another foot. And here you can use your arms to help support you to lessen the load on your core. Let's take some deep breaths. If this feels really accessible, you can make it a little harder, taking your hands underneath your knees and taking your shins parallel to the floor. And if you'd like to take it a step further, you can extend your arms and see what happens. And release on your next exhale. Take your legs up to the sky, making an L shape with your body. Here we'll take a few breaths. And on your next inhale, lift your head and your shoulders and your arms. And release, bringing your knees into your chest. You can rock side to side. You can make a few circles with your knees, allowing for a massage on your tailbone. like you can take a short shavasana laying down flat on your mat and allowing your body to relax otherwise thank you for practicing with me today namaste